Good afternoon, 30 graders. Hope you're all doing well. Our lesson for today is My Customs and Traditions, Part 2. Hello, 30 graders. The title of our lesson today is My Customs and Traditions. By the end of the lesson, you are expected to identify the customs and traditions of Qataris in particular occasions to determine some of the elements of heritage related to the Qatari community through different aspects such as generosity and hospitality. Generosity and hospitality. How can the Qatari be generous to his guest and why is the Qatari keen to serve coffee to his guest? In fact, being invited to a Qatari's house is a great opportunity to experience a new culture and become acquainted with local people. And if the etiquette is followed in the right way, Qatar people tend to be very hospitable and friendly. Once you are at the host's home, everything that your hosts offer you to eat or drink must be accepted. I learned that the Qatari welcomes his guest when he comes to his home. The Qatari serves his guest Arabic coffee along with al-fawala. After eating food and drinking Arabic coffee, the guest is granted a fragrant smell of food and perfume. For your information, al-fawala is a snack consisting of fruits, sweets, and nuts that is served to the guest. If you observe the following illustrations, you can see one of the traditional dishes in Qatar as well as guys celebrating certain occasion. During the month of Ramadan, Qataris are keen on exchanging visits with family, relatives and neighbors and breaking the fast with them. Qataris break their fast first with dates and water following the Prophet as example, may Allah bless him and grant him peace. Among the most important and distinctive traditional dishes are Haris and Tareed, and among the sweet is Luqaymak. Another occasion that Qataris usually celebrate is the Eid. Qataris are keen to perform the Eid prayer in the Eid prayer outdoors. Qataris, old and young, are keen to wear new clothes, visit family, relatives, and neighbors, and congratulate them on Eid. Once Ramadan comes to an end, on Eid day, kids go from house to house in their community, singing traditional folk songs to celebrate Eid. In return, the elders of the family give them cash or sweets, which is called idiya. Some children also sing a traditional songs to express their joy at the advent of Eid. For example, the anthem Bajr al Eid. This is the end of our lesson. Have a good day. Bye bye.